I'm Chris Norwood. On a journey to hear every song ever recorded, if that's something that interests you, you know what to do. Subscribe! Today's video is going to be me reacting to a first time listen of the Dixie Dregs. Now this is an interesting musical discovery that I made actually on Record Store Day. So I got there a little bit late. All the Record Store Day releases were gone that I wanted. And I just decided while I was there, might as well flip through some records. Uh, that's very therapeutic for me, just to flip through vinyl records. And I did not pick up this album, but I saw the Night of the Living Dregs and the album artwork. Let's just show it that right now. That artwork really grabbed my attention and I thought, man, this looks like something that would sound great. But then I kind of, I was on a budget and since all the record store day stuff was gone, I decided to try to find something that maybe I was a little more familiar with but at the same time buy it strictly based on the cover. And I ended up finding this very nice uh, double LP in gold. Give you a little bit of teaser. If you want more of that gold vinyl, you gotta check out my unboxing video of getting into knives. I grabbed that really cool album back there. It sounds great, love it, check it out. But I left the record store wanting to know more about the Dixie Dregs and Night of the Living Dregs. So here we are. Um, so because of the, the YouTube uh, copyright issues and stuff, I've got a unique idea. I want you to pull up your uh, listening device of choice, whether it be Spotify or Amazon or a CD or vinyl. Maybe you have this on vinyl and I'm jealous of you because I should have bought it that not that day. So um, pull out your Spotify or whatever you have and uh, we're, we're on the Night of the Living Dregs album and I'm gonna play Let's Make It Interesting. I was gonna do the most popular song which appears to be Punk Sandwich, but I wanna, I wanna make it more interesting. I wanna play the least popular song. So we are going to be listening to Leprechaun Promenade. I'll tell you when I hit play so you can uh, hang out with me. Okay? Starting now. Getting some Who vibes. Does have a very Irish um, flavor to it. Kind of sounds like something from a, a 80s sitcom soundtrack. Oh! like a leprechaun is playing on his little keyboard. Is 
there no lyrics? What's going on? Can the Dixie Dregs not sing? Who are the Dixie Dregs? I know they were formed in 1970. I think they broke up in 83. A jazz rock fusion band. A genre that I'm very unfamiliar with. Hmm. I don't know if I like this or not. I'm going to say... I'm not going to say anything untrue. I will never lie to you. I'm impressed. Very spacey. But very, very inviting. This is a leprechaun's promenade. Keep listening. So this is from the Night of the Living Dregs is their third album from 79. Kind of half. Whoa! Ah! This was live! Is this still the same song? How many minutes? No, this is patchwork. We're done. We're, we're not listening to patchwork. This is unbelievable. This album was half studio, half live. I didn't realize that. That was incredible. I'm listening to the Riff Raff now, and I, there's no vocals. Yeah, guys, this is something that I'm totally unfamiliar with, but man, I had, I had a lot of fun listening to that. Uh, I definitely want to get into this jazz rock uh, fusion a little bit more, and definitely um, the non-vocalization of, of the track and their entire catalog is just insane. I, um, I haven't heard anything like this before and I'm excited to go on this journey of a sort of instrumental jazz rock fusion uh, starting with the Dixie Dregs and it's all because of that album artwork. If you didn't know this this album The Night of the Living Dregs um, received a Grammy Award nomination for best rock instrumental performance. Uh, Country House Shuffle and Leprechaun Promenade were previously released on the band's 76 demo record, The Great Spectacular. Yeah, this, uh, this, uh, this album had some, uh, some personnel from Steve Morse, Andy West, not Adam West, Alan Salone, Mark Parrish, and Rod Mergenstein. Thank you guys. Have a great night. I'm going to go listen to some more music.